I started out making films with both a technical and a creative production background. So I had experience in both the technical craft of sound mixing and the creative craft of record production and producing music and producing records. So I felt I had a pretty good handle on the creative process side and on some of the technology. Essentially, I began as an educational video maker and I was making short educational films and the economics of it were such that I really had to do all the jobs. I really couldn't afford to budget a production and complete it without doing everything. I had to write it, I had to shoot it, I had to edit it, and I had to deliver it and also counsel with the client in terms of what they really wanted and realizing their vision, realizing their, their idea of what they wanted to get across. And when I went from producing educational videos into documentary films, I pretty much carried the same pro forma with me into the documentary genre and kind of adapted myself to uh, all the different jobs that there are. I've always lived a life where I've been allowed and encouraged to do what I love and do what I want to do. Ever since I was a kid, I've always been able to select my own classes or pick my own direction or in some way be an autonomous, independent person. So that has been sort of my lifestyle for all of my life. So filmmaking is really, to me, a, uh, one of the higher expressions of choice, of choosing what you want to do and doing what you love. I do love what I do. Uh, at this point, it's not as much a passion as, as it is a conviction. It's something that I am so entrenched in and so a part of that it's just the momentum of my own life is the filmmaking process. I think my favorite part of making a film is undoubtedly the post-production process. The editing and the music and the piecing it together and shaping and molding the finished product. I think that's really where I have the most experience and where I have over the years spent the most time in the editing chair. It's, it's somewhat of a meditative process. It's a, a long, detailed, complex process of self-reflection and really calls for a kind of objectivity and inner uh, eye that uh, is, I think, what makes the whole creative process of filmmaking satisfying. I think one of the directors that I respect and have learned a lot from is Charlie Chaplin. He essentially made dramatic films almost exactly like a documentary film is made today. Charlie Chaplin worked in Hollywood in the, in the teens and 20s. He had his own studio and he would craft his films through experiment and improvisation. He would write his notes and his story ideas, but he would work with bits and riffs and it was very much similar to writing music and documentary filmmaking together. He would have actors and characters and cameras and sets all at his disposal and he would play and he would experiment and he would try different themes and storylines and he would abandon them and he would come back to them sometimes years later. And he really worked in very similar way to the way documentary filmmakers work now where he had his creative elements and he would work and craft them spontaneously. And I think it's very similar to how I work now and how uh, many classic documentary filmmakers work is that sort of you, you build it as you go as opposed to a very controlled kind of bureaucratic corporate process. It's something that allows the muse, as it were, to, uh, to come alive.